you're the coach and you're yes. working with parents who have ambition for their children and children who have ambition for themselves. Yes. Talk to us about the three rowing numbers that matter if you're trying to get recruited. The three numbers you're looking at, you're looking at your GPA, your grade point average, you're looking at your SAT and or ACT standardized testing scores, and you're looking at your ERG score. So when it comes to GPA, SAT, ACT, we want those numbers as high as possible. Uh, when it comes to ERG score, we want that number uh, as low as possible, specifically your 2K ergometer score. Moving your GPA, SAT, ACT as high as possible and your ERG score as low as possible, that will give you the opportunity or more opportunities to have more conversations with coaches. If your numbers are not to a standard necessary for whatever the institution is, then you're not going to have a conversation. And to be really clear on this, a lot of the top name rowing schools in the United States, rowing universities and colleges are also the top academic institutions. And at the end of the day, admissions makes the final decision. Just because a coach wants you, just because a coach is recruiting you for your ERG score and your ability and who you are as a as an athlete, if you don't have the academics to back it up, then there really isn't a conversation to be had. And so you want to do the best that you possibly can in school. You want to do the best that you possibly can in rowing. And what that will afford you is access to more coaches and more conversations so that you're more in the driver's seat when it comes to finding the best fit, the best school for you and the best fit for that school. That's a fantastic summary of pretty much, I'm guessing, most of what Rowing Academy does. 